What's up guys, Nepeptheads here and welcome to a video regarding 25 free packs. I've managed to amass 25 free packs through opening packs and through playing the foot draft system and winning tournaments and uh, you know the manager pack and such. And um, there's a nice array of packs in FIFA now, some interesting packs that we've never seen before that I think you can only get through um, the tournaments, the foot draft and such, you can't actually buy them in store. And we're gonna take a look at some of those packs in today's video. Now before we get into this, if we drop a thumbs up, that would be absolutely awesome. And if you think, my God, the Panthers, your voice sounds weird. Two things, number one, I'm in quite an empty room. I really need to flesh it out a bit to get rid of the echo. Number two, actually three things, woo! Number two, I'm in a new mic, because I'm at a and Skills house. Got a bit, look at that, look at that. Fucking gnats in America, man. Jesus Christ, it itches so much. Um, and number three, I have, I'm just getting over a cold, so um, my voice, my nose is still a bit meh. Um, of course, if you want to get some uh, Nepo Design t-shirts, focus camera, focus. Um, link to that will be on the screen and in the description down below. Check those out and uh, let me know if you purchased one because we'll, uh, we'll feature you on the, uh, on the old Twitters and give you a nice little picture and a retweet and such. So 25 packs, I've got some silver packs, some gold packs, some silver player pack, some premium loan reward player pack, which says a mix of four items, including a player rated 80 to 85 on loan, which is quite interesting. But also there is an ultimate loan reward player pack, which is a player rated 85 to 90 on loan. Now, if the games are good, if there's like eight to 10 games for these, it's actually really worth it. Um, but if the game, if there's only like three games, I'm not so sure it'd be worth it. Uh, I've got quite a few of those. I've also got some contract packs, which are pretty shit. Uh, some mixed contract packs and some two player packs which you also get in packs and stuff. What's really good is you, you get these in random packs. I've also seen someone pack a 25K all rare pack, you know, where you get 12 items all rare, but only like three or four players. I've seen someone pack that as a free pack in a pack. So there are some quite good things in packs. We're gonna start with a mixed contracts pack because nobody gives a shit about mixed contracts. Um, it'll be actually interesting to see what kind of assortment of contracts you get and if it's exactly the same every time or if there's any rares in there and such, it's not. So we've got three golds and a silver in the first one. Obviously, I'm gonna keep all of that. I do need those. Um, if you guys wanna see a club tour, tomorrow I'm gonna to have a club tour coming out, uh, along with also some uh, some more Road to Glory. And I'm also gonna be doing a video regarding the foot draft. I'm really disappointed with the foot draft and I'm gonna explain everything and why in a video talking about the foot gra draft, the foot graft, the foot draft, also explaining to you guys the prize system and how it works, what you really get for each round, including offline. Um, the offline is actually pretty interesting. I'll, I'll explain it now as well, as well as in, in a full video. Basically offline, the final prize, the prize for winning the final, is exactly the same no matter which level difficulty you choose. The only thing that's different is the amount of match coins you get for playing the game. So if you play on amateur, I think you only get like two or 300 coins a game for, for winning. If you play on world class, you probably get like six or 700 coins a game. So you're looking at a maximum of about 1,000 to 2,000 coins based on level, but the prize you get at the end is always the same. Um, so I would suggest to you guys to play it on a, if you play it offline, of course, to play it on a level that you can just comfortably win um, because you're not gonna lose out much by not playing on world class or ultimate or anything like that. So there are the contract packs, guys. We've got four gold contracts in that pack, happy days. They don't really worth anything right now because the full game still isn't released yet. It's about to release in in six hours. Yeah, six hours, eight hours. Eight hours in the US, the game, the full game is gonna be released. Um, <clears throat> let's do the silver players pack next. Um, but when the full game is released, people will start buying contracts and consumables and stuff and things like the gold. The, the bronze pack method will be back as a trading, viable trading method. That's actually a decent pull. For a free pack, that's not bad. Song Yin Hyung, and there's only one of him on the market. Brilliant, 10K max price, I'm gonna list him up. Should I keep him? I should probably keep him. No, screw it, we'll sell him. We'll sell him up for, we'll list him for seven, uh, 7K there. So there you go, the only uh, the only dude on the market. Anyone in here that's gonna be decent but might be a non-rare for some random reason? Can't see anyone that I'm gonna keep there. I'm gonna discard all of those boys, take a thousand coins, no problem at all. We're gonna open the silver packs now. I'm gonna do the ultimate loan reward packs last because it'd be interesting to see an 85 to a 90 rate player. Obviously that discounts Messi and Ronaldo, um, but it does include, don't need anything in there. I've already got abundance of fitness and contract cards and stuff. It does include players like Robin, Ribéry, Bale, Neymar. Like there's a really limited pool of players between 85 and 90. So you're likely gonna get someone really good. 
It would also be interesting to know if that includes Legends. I'm, I'm inclined to say it doesn't include Legends for the simple fact that there is also a lone Legends reward pack. So I can't imagine that it, you can get a Legend in an Ultimate Player pack when there is a specific lone Legend pack. That is a nice pull. That is a really nice pull for a free pack. There's 750 coins in there as well. I like the fact that they've changed the coins. Like you can you get like 1500 coins. It's not no longer one, two, three, four, and five K. It's like 500, 750, 250, 1000, 1250, 1500, etc., etc. I'm gonna keep him. Um, he's got a really, really well-rounded card for a silver card. That's actually pretty damn sweet. Uh, he doesn't go for anything, mind. Thousand coins at most, but I'm happy keeping him. I am happy keeping him. We're gonna discard the rest and uh, get ourselves some coins back for that. As you can see, my coin total isn't the best. You'll see why in the club tour tomorrow. Um, so we've got some gold players, some loan packs, some two-player packs. Let's get rid of these two-player packs next. I actually watched Fangs uh, open the two-player pack and she got a silver in form in one of the two-player packs. So if we get anyone semi-decent in one of these two-player packs, I'll be very, very happy. So we get two duplicates there, we're going to discard those. And it's, it's not crazy good. What would be nice is if, you remember in the, um, the World Cup game mode that EA put on last year in FIFA 14, and you got a free player pack at the end of every game. It would be so sick. Wait, oh, I thought Otamendi for a second. That's still really good. I already have him. I'm going to send him to the trade pile. I'm sure he's going to sell for a bit. Um, it would be really good if just in FIFA, at the end of every single game you played, whether it be online or offline, you just get a random one player pack. Could be a bronze player, could be a gold player, silver player, but just really help people flesh out their teams for playing the game, reward people for playing the game. I personally think that'd be a really sick thing for EA to do. I don't think they'll ever do it. That's another really good player. A right back with 82 pace and 89 physical. I can imagine he's actually gonna sell for a little bit. Yeah, like 1500 coins. These two player packs have been all right. They've been all right. I'm gonna keep them in the club. I'm gonna discard Oz Billies and um, move on to the next set of packs. So I think I'm gonna open the gold packs next and then the, uh, the loan packs after. So we've got four gold packs. Now I've opened a few, like I've, I've been like, opening all the packs to try and figure out what's really good value for money. And due to the fact that EA have put so many more gold items in the game, so you guys know now there's a lot of, there's a lot more gold players, which is why gold packs seem worthless. That's not bad. <coughs> He's actually got a really good card. Um, 500 coins and a fitness card in there, that's really decent. Um, there's a lot of non-rare cards, non-rare golds that are very good, like the guy we just pulled there, like Basong as well, goes for a nice, uh, probably like four, 500 coins. Um, but there's also like all the balls of gold now as well. So they've added a lot more pack fillers into uh, the packs to the point where I'm not entirely sure that seven and a half K packs are now more valuable than five K packs. Um, just because there's so many more pack fillers that you're less likely to get rare gold players, you're even more less likely to get rare gold players than you ever were before. So it'd be interesting to see if they change that going forwards. Uh, we get ourselves, uh, I'll keep I'll keep that, I'll keep that Orlando City kit's quite nice as well. We'll store those two to the club. I'm gonna discard everything else there and uh, we'll open this last pack. And then we've got the loan player packs. Now loan player packs really do interest me because the, the way the loan player system works is that if you get two of the same players, like I already have a Griezmann loan card. If I get another Griezmann loan card, I can combine the contracts and get more cards, more games on Griezmann. So if you have like a Ronaldo with 10 games and you pack a Ronaldo that has five games, you then get 15 games on that Ronaldo. And it's really, really good. So we're gonna see who we get as the loan players. Now these are the bad ones, they're 80 to 85 rated. It would be nice if we get anyone semi-decent. We get ourselves a Farman with seven contracts. That's actually not bad. <clears throat> I don't mind seven contracts and you see there again another non-rare gold that's really really good Vargas was one of the most OP and most used players last year he's now right mid instead of a striker but he's still got incredible stats especially for a right mid and uh, I think a lot of people might use him I think his price might stabilize at somewhere around like one to two thousand coins throughout the whole of FIFA so that's not too bad here we go we get another cam it's going to be Edomenko again seven games on Edomenko not too bad he's got really nice cars his team of the season obviously last year was absolutely insane We'll store all that stuff to the club. <coughs> Sorry, as I did tell you guys, I'm still getting over this cold a little bit. Um, so we've got one more premium loan player pack. Then we've got five ultimate premium loan player packs. 
and it's going to be really good to see what kind of players we get in there. Is that going to be Aaron Ramsey? That is, that's the first time I've got Aaron Ramsey in this game as well. I don't have his regular gold card. So we'll send him to the club. Very nice indeed. Going to be able to test out Rambo for seven games. Happy days. And now we've got the five ultimate loan reward player packs. So this is 85 to 90 rated. I really wouldn't mind a Robin because I've not used Robin yet this year. We're going to get Urzil first up. So seven games on these players. That's actually really good. That's a lot. Like That's a nice amount of games. For a loan pack, for a free pack. Like, imagine you do get the Ronaldo. Obviously, we can't get him in these packs because it only goes up to a 90 rated. But if you get like a Rob N for seven games, that will be absolutely magnificent. And I've seen a few people's like first page. Is that Lewandowski? That's really good. I, I don't even have Lewandowski in the club yet. So that is really good. I've seen a lot of people's first pages of their clubs have been um, like two, two or three pages full of loan players. And I think that's brilliant this year that EA are really showing you guys that, hey, we want you to experience the players. Is that going to be Schweinsteiger? That's, oh, Philip Lahm. That's another one that I don't have yet. Philip Lahm, I haven't packed him. I haven't used him. I haven't got him in the club. His card is really, really nice. It's a shame he's 5'7 and has 66 physical. I think he'll do better as a centre midfielder rather than as a CDM. Um, but we'll keep him in the club, of course, anyway. Why would we not? And we're going to have two more of these lone packs left. Now, it would be nice if we could get a really high rate. We've got three 87s in a row so far. Ozil... Um, Lewandowski and Lam. If we get, we're going to get Lewandowski again, and I'm going to be able to show you now exactly what I meant with that loan system, with how the combining the contracts works. So if you actually, if you keep your first loan player, it keeps the stats on him. You can combine the contracts so you forever keep those stats on that player. So instead of discarding him and starting with a fresh one, combine the contracts. I now have a Lewandowski that has 14 contracts on him. And I think that is absolutely brilliant. It's something that I really enjoy in this FIFA. I think it's a really good feature that they've added. And for the last pack, please give us a 90, give us a Robin. It's Lewandowski again. It's Lewandowski again. We're gonna have 21 games on Lewandowski. That's actually really good from three packs to be able to play 21 games with him. That's really fucking good. 21 games on Lewandowski. I'm happy with that. Discard the rest. This is going to be the end of the video, guys. Let me know what the best loan player is that you've got in a pack. It'd be interesting to see what people have picked up. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.